Everyone likes a good movie or TV show to get lost in. Even blind people. But how do blind people watch movies and television shows if they can't see? Through the use of audio descriptions. What are audio descriptions? That's what you might be wondering. Audio descriptions are a separate audio track that plays over a movie or television show between the dialogue that describes all the visual information that's on screen for blind or visually impaired viewers. Audio descriptions let blind and visually impaired people experience movies and television shows without being left out. Right now, every major streamer, Netflix, Disney+, Hulu, HBO Max, Amazon Video, Apple TV+, and more, have audio descriptions for their original content, which allows blind people to access and experience that content along with everyone else. I've always enjoyed movies. The screen was big enough that with my remaining vision, I could always see a good portion of what was on screen. But even so, I always felt like I lost out on important bits of information and I couldn't always follow things like hectic fight scenes and other action-oriented scenes. So I always felt like I wasn't getting a complete experience of a movie when I watched it in theaters. TV shows were a bit better because I could be closer to the screen and I didn't have to worry too much about it. But even so, I always felt like I wasn't getting a complete experience with them. I actually didn't always know about audio descriptions. In fact, I didn't know they were a thing until a little known show released on Netflix in 2015. In the foreground, the ooze drools down in red block letters, Daredevil. Daredevil was how I learned about audio descriptions because when it was first released on Netflix, it didn't have any. And because it was about a blind superhero, that, needless to say, uh, drove a lot of controversy about the show because blind and visually impaired viewers couldn't fully experience it. And once Netflix did add audio descriptions to Daredevil, they started doing it with other shows. With the audio descriptions on those shows, I could experience them fully and didn't feel like I was missing out on anything. So now, if a show has audio descriptions or if a movie has audio descriptions, I'll put them on and watch the show with the audio descriptions. Audio description paints a scene with words. It helps me follow along to what's going on in a show or movie, especially in the more hectic scenes like fights, chases, and things like that. The Russian from the card game is thrown through the door, collapsing it against the opposite wall. The other door opens, and the apple-eating man rushes up, only to be hit by a flying microwave oven. That sends another one flying, then steps out to take on the men from the other room. He disarms one of them, and beats the other two with the shotgun. With that said, I can't speak to how audio descriptions work in movie theaters or how that experience is, as I've never actually asked for any in the theaters. But the next time I do end up seeing a movie in theaters, I think I might ask for some to see how that experience is. With audio descriptions, I can fully experience a movie or TV show without feeling lost. And that's the same for other blind or visually impaired people as well. Audio descriptions are a great way of making visual entertainment accessible for the blind and visually impaired. In a way, it's no different than having closed captions for the deaf or hard of hearing. There's still a lot of movies and television shows that aren't audio described. Mostly older films and films in foreign languages or from foreign countries. Or if those foreign films and TV shows are audio described, they're usually only described in their native language. Currently, about 8,169 titles are audio described, 
according to the American Council of the Blind and its audio description project, which lists every known program with audio descriptions. And it's updated constantly every week and when new programs are released with audio descriptions. We should strive to make TV and movies more accessible. It's a win-win. It broadens the audience of these programs and it allows others to experience something that people have put so much time in. That's how blind people watch movies and TV shows. Through the use and importance of audio descriptions. Hope you all like that one and I will see you on the next one.